Um, it's Amy Wakefield. I wanted to talk to you a little about uh, vibrato on the violin. Um, there are quite a few different ways you can sort of learn to play vibrato or you can learn to improve your vibrato. Um, one of the exercises which I do using the violin, um, so you probably want to do this with different fingers, but here's an example using the uh, the second finger. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this kind of siren-like sound all the way up and down. And when you're ready, you can make it a bit smaller. So in the middle. And now a little bit smaller. You might want to do a few in one bow like that. Until it gets smaller and smaller. And now I ended up uh, doing some vibrato there. Um, but I think the one of the main things is trying to keep the thumb really loose. So unless you get the movement here, kind of all the way through the foot, thumb going down the arm, it's actually really hard for you to, to move around if you're kind of stuck there. So you've got to keep that gap. I don't know if you can see, there's like a little gap um, underneath my thumb there. Um, and keep your hand really, really relaxed. The other thing is, is to make sure you've got the, the shoulder rest set up. Um, now, basically, it's sort of your your chin tips the the chin rest back so that it holds the violin slightly up. And then this this hand, all it has to do is balance. It doesn't grip on, so it should be really, really relaxed. Um, okay, uh, another thing you could do is you can practice um, on a surface. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna use the lid of my piano actually. So I'm gonna put the lid down and just get that finger, we were using the second finger, weren't we? So, in fact, change hands. Um, so if you, if you kind of put the finger there on the surface, it's got a natural kind of stickiness. So you should be able to kind of wobble it around without it actually sliding too much. Mine is a little bit, but um, but you, you can actually practice going sort of side to side like that. And that's how vibrato's kind of created. Um, so that, that's quite a good, and you can practice that with each, each finger like that. Um, the other thing that I have often tried uh, myself, or when I was learning vibrato particularly, is I actually either got somebody to hold the scroll, or I put it up against the wall. Um, so, let's show you. So kind of put it up against the wall like this. Okay. And it actually then helps you then transfer that technique that you tried on the piano lid or the table or whatever. And and basically what I did is I watched people playing vibrato um, over and over again until um, I just started to figure out the movement kind of by looking at it and also looking at myself in the mirror. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just show you some vibrato just so you can kind of see how I do it and then you can, you can keep working on it. So this is the second finger. Now that, that's a fairly slow kind of vibrato and there are different speeds depending how, how much uh, expression you want to add in. Uh, so you could do a very, very full fast vibrato. And you'll notice it always tends to come from the arm. But you can slow it right down. And it feels very different depending on which finger. The first finger can be quite tricky quite hard to show you that one. And you can do it on your forefinger as well. 
Now the other thing is, if you press down too much on the string, if you press too hard, then it doesn't really kind of affect the sound. It doesn't sort of create waves in the sound enough. So I think you've got to be really light on your finger so that so that the, the, the pitch is allowed to very slightly kind of alter. So anyway, I hope that's uh, given you some ideas. Um, so thank you very much.